South Africa's most wanted fugitive is finally behind bars. Thabo Happy Musiel was in jail in 2011, but escaped and fled overseas. Musiel was known as one of the masterminds behind the most notorious cash and transits in the country's history. But now he's been arrested for the murder and the kidnapping of Linda Madati, an employee of SBV whose body is yet to be recovered. Madati, who was described as full of life, was last seen by her family on the 8th of October last year. She asked me to come to her place at Vanabay Park. We went to Valmol, we had lunch and we went to a, a garage, said mom, next year I'm buying a car. I said, oh, well done, my child. You've done well for yourself. I'm proud of you. She said, mom, don't worry, everything's going to be fine. She said, mom, in the evening I'm going to a party. I said, Esh, Linda, I don't like parties. She said, ah, mom. Let me just go. I said, ah, it's fine. Go. I have no reason to say no. She said, Mom, will you please drop me at my friend's place? I said, yes. But I won't be able to pick you up because I'm, I'm staying in uh, Pumalanga. On Sunday, I was supposed to drive back to Pumalanga because the kids were going back to school on Monday. She said, ah, Mom, I'll find my way home. I'll catch a taxi going back to Vanda Bay Park. We came back to Mix and Manor. She said, I, I want to say hi to Coco and I bought up groceries for Coco. I said, okay, it's fine. She greeted my mom. And then when I was about to leave, she said, mom, I'm, I'm going with my mom. I'll come next week, Coco, and see you. Uh, I took her to her friend's uh, place where they were preparing to go to a, a party. I phoned her when I get to Soweto because when I'm this side, I stay in Soweto. She said, Mom, I'm preparing to go to a party. On the 8th of October 2016, Linda, together with her best friend, went to a house party in Mixon Manor with the suspect Tabu Musia and his friend. This was the last location she was seen alive with the suspect. <laughs> Madadi's friend, who was with her that night, described to the police the chilling details of the 23-year-old's disappearance. We were at the party with Linda and then, yeah, we met this guy. Uh, I, I think he's, he's, the, he's this last person to, to be with Linda. You know what, to be honest, I never felt good because, and besides, it was my first time to, to, like, to know that guy at night. Why they met before Linda? Linda, I think, but to be honest, she was scared of him. The suspect during questioning allegedly voluntarily stated that he killed Linda and dumped her body on the N12 near Delmas. He then later changed his story to dropping her off on the road. Now all the family wants is answers on her disappearance to get closure, but the accused has opted to be silent on the matter, not cooperating with the police. I think she is alive. I think Linda is kept um, somewhere. I don't know whether it's a denial or I so want to see her so much, but whatever comes, I'll embrace it. I just want Linda back. Two thousand and five, most wanted for a cash and transit heist in Bedford View. Two thousand and six, wanted for a cash and transit heist in Motutlong and Tsagane. Musia purchased a house for one point two million rand. He bought a house for his mother for one hundred and twenty thousand rand cash. An Audi was also purchased by his wife. Musia deposited an amount of over seven hundred thousand rand to four accounts. All the accounts were opened in his mother's name. 2010, the Hawks arrested 12 people. Musia was difficult to catch, 
It was said he fled the country. 2011, Musio was arrested in El Dorado Park by the Flying Squad. The asset forfeiture unit seized his assets, including two houses. He escaped, fled overseas, and disappeared without a trace. 2016, on the 8th of October 2016, Musio was the last person allegedly seen with Linda Matati. 2017, Musio was arrested in March and was denied bail at the Linasia Magistrates Court. His trial will start on the 12th of May. To this date, Linda Matati has not been found and authorities are shying away from any questions regarding Thabo Musia's criminal past, which seems to not exist. However, he has been refused bail and will remain in custody awaiting his trial to begin on the 12th of May.